So I realized this, that I have the opposite of an Instagram life. So lots of people, they, always, they just post stuff on Instagram that's all perfectly posed. And the one time they went to Cabo, they've got 47 pictures of that. And, then, and really their general life is pretty boring, but you don't know that. And there's a lot of talk about the whole Instagram image, but I'm the opposite of that. I realized yesterday when I was, day before, whenever, whenever I was falling back from British Columbia that I've been in five countries this year. And I don't know how many states, nine, 10. Um, so yeah, and I keep last count to the number of cities. Did a one month uh, road trip with my husband. Yeah, I drove through Utah, Nevada, went South Dakota twice, went up to, uh, went to Minneapolis, went to Massachusetts. So yeah, it's been a really good and busy year. And what I have learned this year See, if you'd read my vlog, you would know these things. Dennis, do you know the two things I learned this year? Only two things? Yes. He's disappointed in me that I only learned two things. No, what are they? Um, number one is to just say yes. So like when I had the chance to go to Melbourne, I just said yes and went to Melbourne for a week because why not? And when I had the chance to go to Chile for over a year, I did. Because yeah. how many times do you get to go live in another country for a year? And I, when I got invited to come up to Kamloops, even though I didn't know what Kamloops was and I didn't know how to spell merit, turns out merit, as in merit the town, has two R's and two T's. Don't pretend you're all new. Um, anyway, say yes to things. And I don't mean everything. Like if somebody says, can you give me all your money? You should probably say no. If somebody says, would you like to po po poke a fork in your eye? You should probably say no. But lots of things you should say yes to and just have experiences. So that was one thing. And my second thing I learned that I always kind of knew, but was emphasized, and now I know it for sure, is that good people attract other good people to them, and bad people not only don't attract good people, but they repel them. So you should really focus on the people that you hang out with, and the people you associate with. And if you find yourself saying, oh, Bob's an ass, but he is a good judo player. Or Bob is an ass, but he could invest in our company. Or Bob is an ass, but he's a good... No. Just stop at the butt. That's kind of good advice in general. Just stop at the butt. No, but jack shit. If he's not a good person, then you don't want to be around him. And I've seen too many people that live to regret this. And they tell themselves things like... Oh, you know, look how much we could help the athletes if we had Bob's money. Or look how much Bob's coaching could help the athletes. Or if Bob wins medals, look how much it will help our program. No, no. If somebody is not honest and trustworthy and all those good Boy Scout values, then then with them. What if I get against Bob? Well, Bob's an ass. That's just all there is to it. So anyway, that's my two things that I've learned. Just say yes, and that the most important thing in how happy you are gonna be in, and successful in life is that you hang out with good people. And you will find that the more good people you hang out with, that'll attract other good people to you. So anyway, those are my two things that I have learned. Number one, just say yes. Number two, the most important thing is to associate with good people. And if there are people in your life that you find yourself saying, well, he's not very trustworthy, he's kind of creepo around women, or I don't you know, really trust him, but just drop the butt, X Bob out of your life, you follow this and I guarantee you a year from now, your life will be better. Anti-Bob, I am anti-Bob.